Welcome to the Sage 50 U.S. Edition Anytime Learning Topic. This topic provides you with an overview of the procedures and steps used to manually back up your company information using Sage 50's backup utility. Making company backups is a very important part of managing your accounting information in a software solution such as Sage 50 Accounting. Backups protect your business from unexpected events such as system hard drive failures and computer theft. Although you can always reinstall the program once your system is back up again, your critical company information cannot be restored through a simple reinstall of the program. Sage 50's backup utility backs up 100% of your company data every time that it is run. In addition to your important financial data, the backup also backs up all of your custom reports and forms. Backing up your data is a very easy process. First, log into the program as an administrator, or if you are responsible for backing up, make sure that the administrator assigns backup rights to your user profile. Next, if you are in a multi-user environment, have other users exit out of the program. Backing up is a single user task, so you may want to back up early in the morning before everyone logs in or at the end of the day. Once everyone is out of the program and you are logged in with backup rights, access the System Navigation Center and then click the Backup Now button. The Backup Company window will display. If you would like to be reminded to back up in a specified amount of days, select the first option on this window. You should also select to include your company name as part of the name of the backup file that will be created. If you do not check this option, the backup name will use the characters B, U, and then the current date as the backup file name. With this option checked, the file name will include your company name and the current date. It is recommended that you check this option especially if you manage more than one Sage 50 company data set, so that you do not accidentally overwrite another company's backup file. If you archive your company, or you use the Attachments feature, you can back them up at this time as well. We're now ready to back up, so let's click the Backup button. You will now be asked for the location that you would like to place the backup. Use the drop-down and the toolbar buttons to browse to where you want to save your backup. For this demonstration, let's select the available USB flash drive. Note that the backup file name consists of the company name, a dash, and the current date. Having the current date in the name always ensures that you do not accidentally overwrite backups from previous days. It is highly recommended that you do not change the default file name. Let's click Save and then click through the two additional prompts to start the backup process. A window will appear showing you the progress of your backup. Depending on how large your data set is and the backup location, the actual backup process will take from a few seconds to a couple of minutes. When the program has finished backing up your data, you will then be placed back into the main window of the program. Let's use Windows Explorer to browse to the location of the backup. Here we will see files with a file extension of PTB. Each one of these main PTB files contains 100% of your company data as of the date included in the file name. An additional backup file will exist if you select to backup archive data. An archive backup is identified by the word archive included in the file name. So as you have seen, manually backing up your Sage 50 company is a simple but very important task that should be incorporated into your daily Sage 50 routine. This concludes our look at Sage 50 backups.